Hello everyone, Frank Tesla here, and welcome back to the most wanted series that uh, I have unfortunately had to put to bed recently because of a bunch of stuff in the game, updating, whatever. But now with the new immersive mode being out, being released to the public to where people can play, it is time for me to go back to my true survival mode. And, of course, I'm not going to be doing that on my main character, which is this guy. Uh, I will be creating a new character, obviously, because of the... Introducing the ghost... Ah, I don't want to see this. Uh, immersive mode, obviously. Um, I do have my own personal settings for this. So, if you want to watch me do this, that is fine. Extreme, Elite, Customize... Uh, bandage, uh, a few. Uh, always, yeah, extreme. I'm, I was actually thinking about putting this on a regular, because if my character is a special forces operator, I feel like he could run a lot more than this little bit of extreme, but I'm going to leave it on extreme anyways, because I ain't no bitch. Um, health regeneration is none, ammo loss on reload. Uh... Restricted, that which this is pretty much like whenever I go to Bivouax or social, it should only be me or whoever's in my group. I can only shop at Aeron and uh, the garage is only there too. Uh, let's look at all this. I guess whenever you make a new character now, um, everything just goes back to default, which is super weird. Um, I guess I'll just customize it, or maybe I just put it on uh, da, 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 minimal. Maybe that's just make it a bit easier. Uh, obviously, obviously, it did not. It did not turn anything off. I'm not going to be doing missions, so I don't need mission reminder on. I don't need any of this. I'm too good for that. Don't need that. The loot thing is actually with the new update that came out. You actually don't need the um, loot marker on anymore. Because apparently they glow now, which is weird. And also, in case you have not figured this out, I just realized this because I was messing around with the settings when the immersive mode just released. I was messing around with them, and you can turn the mini map on, but have it on a light. And oop, uh, you have a uh, a compass at the bottom right corner of the your screen so you won't have like an actual mini map you just have your compass i will be leaving that on because if you watched any of my other survival series videos i always complained about how there wasn't a compass but now there is a compass uh so i will be leaving that on i don't need any of this stuff on so maybe i don't know i leave objective and communications on for my videos because I don't have a mini map, so I don't see it in my actual gameplay. But when I look at the tack map, you know, the really big map, I do see kind of like its estimated location because I'm not going to spend an hour looking for the fucking objective. I'm not about that life. Uh, I, I don't really need this on, but I guess it doesn't matter because that's not really going to benefit for anything. But I'm going to turn it off anyways no fucking i'm just gonna leave it on it's not too much of a deal notifications off co-op i don't play co-op anymore <laughs> uh all this stuff can be turned off off uh this isn't pvp so those don't matter gameplay i don't think any of this has anything to do with my Reset camera side, leaving cover. That, I think that's a new one. Uh, and for the people who keep asking about my actual controller settings, I'm going to do a quick skim through this. This was actually higher than this. Uh, God, I, I just wish I could use my mouse for this. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go through the my basic settings. I mean, it's actually set on advanced settings. But as of right now, as of this recording, this is my current settings. I am constantly changing these. 
Uh, I'm always either going up a little bit or going down a little bit. It all depends on what I'm doing, I guess. But this is pretty much my controller settings, my aim sensitivity, which is what everybody wa wants to see and ask me about. But this is pretty much what that is. So, aim assist. I don't think aim assist even works now. Just camera movement to help with targeting. Uh, because, like, I'm pretty much on extreme difficulty elite slash custom settings. If you're on, on extreme, aim assist does not work. So, I'm pretty sure this isn't even going to affect anything. Uh, maybe it would affect the echelon uh, pistol snap. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, driving drone sensitivity helicopter so yeah that's pretty much all of my settings uh, I have music up because I put on I put my own music in plus Ubisoft's music and game has copyright on it so I do not appreciate that <laughs> Uh, but with this being my true survival series, I probably won't even be, I probably won't even be putting in music. It would probably just be the game and my, my voice, but I'm pretty sure everything is set. That is my settings. Um, things may change later on. I doubt it I don't think I'm going to be changing any settings because everything seems pretty good and these settings that I just created for this character is the exact same settings I use on my main character when I do all my videos uh, including the most recent like Sam Fisher Splinter Cell videos stealth videos the only thing difference is on this one my true survival characters I will always have the compass on obviously my main character I don't I don't have the uh, that compass on, but I'm going to go ahead and quick try to quickly create a character. Uh, I have noticed that they added some new like things to the game, like uh, like I think all the faces are the same. I always go with blue eyes. I don't know why. I just really love blue eyes. But like hair, they have different hair now and they added some different facial hair which is like this which honestly these two you it's really hard to actually see the difference between these two like the difference is so small it's not even really worth picking either one anyways I'm gonna go with that and uh, a new style of hair which <laughs> Uh, I'm really I'm really liking this one. I think this is the one I have on my main character because I always love this one But I don't know right now. This one's my favorite one, but I think I'm just going to go with this one for now and The hair would be blue. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The hair's not going to be blue. It'd be brown uh, You won't have any facial Things and that that is it uh, so yeah, go ahead and skip this. Oh my goodness, your face scared my face. <laughs> hey, they actually fixed the uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint logo coming in. Uh, right before this new update came out, that was broken. <laughs> that thing did not pop up at all. I wonder, can I, do I even have bandages since of the settings I put on? I guess I do, I don't know. I wonder, since I'm being forced to bandage right here, if I'm still gonna have my three bandages, or if this is me literally using the only bandages I have. I don't know. Either way, my true survivor series is pretty much me running through the island, scavenging what I can, trying to survive. I will go ahead and customize my outfit here because this is just the default outfit, so like tattoos. You can't really customize tattoos in the character creator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of customization here. Um, there's so much stuff I want. I really want this Alice chess rig, but I don't have it. And I don't know how to get that redeem code. And I'm really upset about it. Um, 
I actually do have this on my main character. Some of these I do have on my main character, but that's not a big deal. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and just put that bad boy on and then put maybe this on. Uh, my idea for this character is he is a stranded, he's a stranded splinter cell, uh, fourth echelon or third echelon, whichever one, uh, operator who got stranded on this island. So that's pretty much what I'm going for here. Um, I know I can't exactly use my... I thought I bought these boots that go with this outfit, but apparently I did not. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did though, but whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with it. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty much supposed to be this, you know, Splinter Cell type guy who got stranded on this island, and he's just trying to survive, trying to figure out what the heck happened, what the heck went wrong. Why is he being stranded, yada, 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 all that good stuff. Um, so that's pretty much like the background of this character. Uh, so yeah, and I think that's really, really cool and really unique. Um, just no patch. But even though I'm wearing the uh, night vision goggles on my head, I don't think I can actually use them since I don't have the perk. Which is understandable. I mean, that makes sense, I suppose. But, uh, technically, it would be, it would make sense if he wore this, all of this. But I think I'm just going to leave his shirt with a normal black shirt for now. Or maybe just put the hoodie on and then take this off. I'm not 100% sure just yet. Customization is one of the things I take pride in. I love customizing. Uh, and really when it comes to like customizing uh, characters and their outfits I just absolutely love it and I also don't want this character to look identical to my main character because then I'm just going to get confused and y'all will probably get confused with the the true survival character and my main account character so I'm probably just going to do stuff like this maybe Oh, hang on. Yeah, I guess that would do for now. Uh, yeah, okay, that that, sh that should be good for now. Whatever, it's not it's not too big of a deal. I don't want to waste too much time on this. I don't even know how long this guy's gonna survive. <laughs> It'd be horrible of this. So yeah, I can't use the night vision even though I'm wearing the goggles on my head. So. With that being said, what I am pretending, I am pretending that, you know, helicopter crash, he's stranded on this island trying to survive, trying to figure out whatever. Uh, he's injured. Uh, he doesn't have all of his gear. He lost some of his gear. Uh, so eventually, with that being said, I probably will change his outfit later on because, like I said, I do change, love changing outfits. But he... Uh, even though in the game I have to actually like equip the night vision perk to be able to use night vision, I'm not. I'm pretty much pretending that I I have my night vision goggles on my head, but they're currently broke. Like they can turn on, but they don't actually work work. So that's pretty much what I'm pretending here. So I'm going to keep the head, uh, night vision goggles on, but until I quote unquote fix them, I cannot use night vision. Which means, I pretty much need to unlock the uh, night vision perk. But I just saw the compass light up when I killed that guy. I guess almost like a alert status. Yeah. So I don't know if that's going to cause too much of a problem. Um, so let me just take a little gander here and see if maybe I can just turn that off. I don't know. Uh, this is my first time actually using the uh, detection clouds. Is off, so I mean, um, it's not. I mean, it's not on. So I don't know. 
whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it because I really want the compass. And the entire time in the past, I was complaining about not having a compass. And I finally have a compass, okay? I'm leaving the compass. Oh, by the way, since this is immersive mode, I think I can loot these guys' guns. If I'm not mistaken. I've never actually... This is my first time doing this. Yeah, so I can actually just pick up this guy's gun. Like, oh, okay, I have a gun now. So that means I don't even have to go over to that uh, loot crate over there. But what I do need to do, and I have found this out in the past doing my other True Survival series, this very first mission, you have to do this mission no matter what. Uh, because uh, I had the un unfortunate event of experiencing this uh, with the character that I created, but I never uploaded because of this issue. I just want to see what's in this. I think this is a 416. Uh, I'm just going to take this one. I don't think it matters. Uh, can Oh, this is a 80, 805 Brenton. I've actually never used this weapon, so yeah, I'm most definitely keeping this one. Uh, so I have done nothing with this character. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this very Shit. first mission. My soldiers. This very first mission you have to do because if you don't do this mission and you run all the way across the map, you go to a bivouac, whatever, and then you log out of this character to go back to your main character or whatever, and you come back to this character, it's going to spawn you here. It's not going to spawn you at the Damn. last bivouac you was at. It's going to spawn you here. And that's really frustrating. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete this very first mission. So after that's done, I can continue onward and not have to worry about whenever I switch to my main character to do more stealth videos or the Soundfisher Splinter Cell Episode 2 videos and then switch back to this character. I'm not going to have to go through all of this because that's just stupid. So... I think I do have to go to all the helicopters because I tried to skip all this before on a previous character and it just did not let me. Like, I went all the way to Erewhon and did that stupid cinematic in there and then it was like, you gotta go to all the crash sites before the mission was considered to be completed. And I was like, well, that was just a waste of time. Does this have a laser sight? No. Maybe this weapon in here have a laser sight? Oh, this is uh, uh, probably a gadget. Uh, I can't pick up two primaries, so if I open up a chest like that and he just puts, if he just holsters the primary I have, I know for a fact he's not picking up a second primary, so I don't have to worry about that. So he probably, yeah, I think he, oh my gosh, I think he, what is this? Where did this come from? You needed to be in a bit where I, where I wanted to change. So I wonder if that was just the blueprint for this. That's interesting. I could be wrong, but yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's continue onward. A laser sight is something I most definitely want slash need. Okay, so I didn't actually look at what the mini map said. I just kind of saw it uh, glow yellow. I don't know what it said. This one, does this one? Okay, so this weapon right here has a grip on it. And I think this is a G36. It is a G36. So I think you can actually customize stuff even without being at a bivouac, which I think is totally fair. Like if you have attachments in your backpack, you can easily just swap them out. Uh uh out of the out of the field. So I do believe that is believable. Uh, but I think my comp is glowing whether I get in combat or stuff. I don't think that's a big big deal because I already know, hey, I'm in fucking combat. Uh, so I don't think that glowing is going to make or break the uh, true survival experience. I am, I'm leaving the compass. I don't care what anybody says. I finally have the dang compass. I'm leaving the compass. But I'm super, super, super excited for this. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I was really upset at first because, like, the game just was not working for me. 
but now since I've had a little bit of experience with the immersive mode from uh, playing the Splinter Cell missions, which by the way, like I said, all those missions were played on the exact settings I'm playing now. So that shows how amazing I am. <laughs> uh, but anyways. If, uh, for the people who don't know, oh my gosh, what just happened? For the people who don't know the rules for true survival, pretty much if I die, that's it. It's like ghost mode in Wildlands. Who are these guys? I'm actually really surprised that these, uh, Sentinel soldiers' weapons is spawning with a suppressor. Let me see, did y'all drop anything interesting? I don't know, I can't really see y'all's weapons. Oh well, I'm gonna j stick with the uh, G36 for now. Cause this one has a grip. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. I'm super excited for the immersive mode. The only thing I wish that they added because all these settings you can turn on and off so i wish one of the settings was like you know for me playing true survivor or whatever they had were you know like a food or water um bar like bottom left screen or something like that like hey you're running low on food you need to eat something whatever uh you know and for people who didn't want to play that serious or that into it that deep into survival you know, they could just turn it on and off. So I wish they did add okay. that. So, because since it's not in the game, I have to kind of pretend, hey, my character's hungry. I need to go to a bivouac. I need to eat something. I need to kill a boar, kill a deer that I see uh, to eat. I need to sleep six to eight hours because my character's tired. So whenever I do that, it's, you know, just me pretty much pretending. But I wish they did actually add that. Oh my god. I forgot the G36. Oh my god, why is my aim not going where I want it to? I'm not even holding the breathe button. Uh, so, that first time when I was holding my breath, I was actually holding the button for that time. But, I let go of it. And he was still holding his breath, and it was just going, like, way up here. And then I did not hold that button a second time, and he just started doing it again. I don't know if I just found a bug or what. I don't know. Because I actually have my uh, hold breath button bind to a different uh, to a different button from what the default button is. So instead of like trying to like slightly hold the left trigger, I actually rebound it to R B. So like whenever I'm aiming, especially down sights, I'm aiming with my left trigger, but then I just hold R B and then he starts holding his breath. It's just so much easier. And that time it, it seemed to work perfectly. So I don't know what the heck that was about. Uh, but yeah, I might, I might just go ahead and sw swap weapons. I forgot the G36 is actually pretty weak. I don't know how, uh, can you see stats of weapons? Get out of my face. So yeah, you can still see stats of weapons. It, yeah, it has a 20 damage output. That is horrible for a ASR. So where did I kill these nerds at? I don't, I don't know. Their dead bodies are blended in. I think I killed... Oh, there's... Okay, there's just two guys right here. I probably just killed these guys. And then take their weapons. Because... I'm going to try to be sneaky sneak. So that's what I'm just better at. But I also need... Oh my god! Whew. Okay, so they heard that shot. I need to... Uh, relocate here I guess I won't be getting those two guys guns so it seems like these guys over here are not concerned about that gunshot the weapon sway on this weapon is uh, 
pretty, pretty terrible. So what, uh, what, uh, what is that? I think that's the, that, he's, this is actually a small mag. Is this a, um, yeah, the MK-17. But it looks like he has a, sm no, he has a standard. No, wait. No, it, it's actually, it's not showing me what he had on it. Because I'm pretty sure he had a freaking small mag. He had a small mag and uh, a uh, holographic. Uh, can't really see what you have. What ifs. So even though my compass is actually kind of lit up in like an alert color, I can still see them. I can still actually hear them like yelling. So I still don't think that's a big deal because I can literally see and hear all of that. Um, but I'm leaving the compass on because it's really helpful. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Especially in the past when I was running around looking for a bivouac that was like south and I was like in the middle of the woods. Uh... And like nighttime, like just could not see the stars. I could not see anything. So the compass is most definitely staying. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, I'm already playing on like the hardest difficulty and settings that I doubt anybody else will actually play and be as good at it as me. And yes, I'm being very conceited right now, but I'm also speaking truth, speaking facts. But, um,. I get the compass, okay? I'm getting the compass. So I feel like because this video is already like 27 minutes, so pretty much once I get to the uh, air one and like skip through those, can I just use this? Thank you. And skip through those cinematics, I'll probably end the episode there Mayday. because I'm going to try to keep these videos around 30 minutes, 40 minutes max. Maybe, depending on what's going on, I might stretch it at 45, but I'm not trying to make these uh, an hour-long video. Unless that's what you want. I mean, if you... What the crap? That happened so fast. Oh. I didn't realize what he did. He just... I looked to the left to my second monitor to look at the recording. And the dude, he just freaking swapped that so fast. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the MK-17 for now. Hang on, let me stop here, check out the uh, weapon details. So this one has a 30 damage output. That is so much better than the... Uh, um, fuck, I, I already forgot the name of it. That weapon that I threw down back there in the, in the dirt. That weapon I threw in the mud. That weapon. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, the G36. How did I forget that? The G36 is a decent weapon. I... I'm not hating on the weapon, but I don't think it's, it's not even in my top five favorite ASRs in this game. There's other games where I really, really enjoy the uh, G36, but in this game, not that much. I actually prefer the M4A1 over the G36. The M4A1 is actually like my top two favorite ASRs. So yeah, I would just run over there, but uh, since I am actually trying to save on time, I'm just going to go ahead and drive there, get this out of the way. Hopefully no one shoots me, because I'm pretty sure if I get shot once driving down the road, I'm dead. So, let's go ahead and get there. So what I think I'm probably going to do in the next episode is I'm going to try to go to the nearest base, checkpoint, compound, whatever is nearby. And try to just scavenge some loot. Try to get, scavenge some uh, gadgets. I don't know if I have any bandages. Well, I can't really look. I, I've been binge playing State of K2. With those videos, if they're not out already. Because I have recorded so many videos. So I don't know. Like uh, As of right now, currently as I'm recording this video. I have recorded like so many State of K2 videos. I've recorded... Uh, the majority of the Selm Fisher Episode 2 main story missions, uh, I just, right now, I just have not uploaded them. I have them edited and ready to upload. I just have not had the time to upload them because 
editing and recording takes a lot of time, yes, but uploading videos, that just takes just as much time as editing a video, at least for me. Uh, literally, like, it takes me like maybe in 30 minutes to an hour to edit a video, which I feel like is a pretty good, a pretty good time frame. I mean, I know there's a lot of things I do in my videos, and everybody's like, oh, you know, videos are so amazing, they're so high edited, and yes, they are, they are very highly edited, but I guess I'm so good at editing videos, right it there. literally takes me like, if the video is a 30 minute you? video, it would take me playing? about an hour. Who the hell are you? Another if the one. video is like an hour long, it would probably take me like an hour and a half, so pretty much... Just add 30 minutes to whatever the video's length is, and that's how long it took for me to edit it. Because uh, what I do is I pretty much I I'm edit I'm watching the video as I'm editing it, and then after it's done, uh, I pretty much rewatch it after I edit it. But I don't like watch every single second of it. I watch like a minute, skip a minute, watch a minute, skip a minute. So if a video is 30, 30 minutes long, I go through the editing process and then I go back and rewatch it to make sure everything's good, everything's where I want it. Even though there have been times where I still missed something, especially like a miss, a spell error. But uh, whatever, let's go ahead and get these cutscenes skipped because they're annoying. Hey, look at me, big muscle you man. Right or what? I'm not gonna lie, I am actually. You ever think we'd end up here? I'm actually really. I think it's really cool that the ghost, the special forces operator that you are playing as, which is technically nomad, Trolls. but you know, you can customize Trolls. him whatever you way. I really Trolls. think it's really cool that he is just muscular, and, like, he is super fit. Because in Wildlands, they don't really look fit like this, but in this one, it's like, yeah, you are most definitely a special forces operator. Which I think is really cool and a little bit more realistic. I don't know. I'm not a special forces operator in real life. I just play video games and act like one. <laughs> but I would assume a special forces operator. I mean, look at his arms. Look at the freaking veins. That's just freaking insane. But yeah, uh, so I think this mission is completed. Unless I have to talk to Maria. I can't remember. I remember having to, to talk to Maria at one point. Okay, so no. Uh, I'm going to look at the shop because this is literally the only Sorry, place I can short. buy stuff. Of these damn so, rules. with that being said, one of the roles, of course, it's even in the settings. If you want to buy gadgets, you have to go to Erewhon to do it. And why do you look older than you used to? Did they do something with your face? I'm pretty sure you didn't used to look this old. Or this aged, I mean. Anyway, so technically I could just go ahead and buy all of this stuff, but really all I want is some flashbangs. Don't care too much for a frag and anything else. I just want flashbangs. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's for the stupid Terminator gun. Uh, flashbangs, poor grip. Don't know what's up with these suppressors, but I just wasted my freaking points on it. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. There was other f walkers free. I'm, <laughs> I might. Hey, all of these is free. When was these always free? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't even like these shoes, but they're free, so I'm getting them. Free stuff is the way to go. So I. Th I think that's pretty much all I'm going to buy here. I really wanted the freaking... Wait, can I sell stuff? Build weapons. Can I sell stuff? I don't have anything worth selling. Because I have 520. I really... Oh my gosh, wrong button. You ever see yourself doing this? I wasted money on stupid, stupid looking suppressors. I, I mean, didn't realize they were as much as they were. I really wanted this pistol. So that's 8,000. So I need to figure out how to come up with 8,000. Well, actually, like 7,500 um, scale credits to get the pistol that I want. Oh my gosh, I am stupid. I didn't realize that those stupid suppressors were that much. I saw the one and like. 
and oh, and I was like, oh, there's just a thousand, but no, I think they were like ten thousand. That was insane. Because I I just want this this so I need like a thousand for this. That's this is really all I want. But I'm pretty sure you can just loot that. I don't know where. I do know there are some laser sites you can loot, like the mall, which is that green laser site. You can loot that one. And uh, let me tell you one thing right now. This is so much better walking around without uh, 20 walker looking fuckers running around. Or those stupid guys uh, that dress up in like blue scuba outfits because they think they're cool but they're really not. Uh, this most definitely feels a bit more immersive, so I am excited about that. But I am going to try to take a seat here. If it will let me. Yeah, there we go. I guess I'll just sit on her face. Take a seat here. Rest. I didn't kill any animals, so technically I can't eat unless the lady next to me wants to share some of her food. Um... I don't care for the, I don't even care for the buffs. I'm not even trying to go for the buffs. I'm just going for, I guess, that animation that he does. And, uh, you know, he should drink. He should eat. Uh, I'm just going to assume that they're going to share their food with me. <laughs> uh, even though they just met me. Who's this guy walking in here thinking he's all badass and stuff? It's, it's me. You know, the guy. Uh, so, I'm assuming they shared some food with me. Uh, they shared some water with me. I don't even think I have a water canteen. But that's okay, because that wasn't mine. They shared that with me. Um, uh, I guess I could stretch. I did literally just survive a helicopter crash, I suppose. Splinter Cell... Fourth echelon uh, operator here, just trying to survive, and now need to write everything down in my little notebook here. I just survived a helicopter crash, and I didn't die. Hmm, good day so far. But yeah, that's uh, going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you. Continue to watch this series because I am really invested in this. This is most definitely going to be a fun trip. Even if this character dies, I will create other characters. When a character dies, I will do my best to create a new character and get those videos up as soon as I can. The thing about these survival series videos, since I use my voice and I normally have a lot of background noise, these may not come out as often as like my no commentary style videos. So... For example, this video might come out, you know, right now you while you're watching it, but the next video might not come out to like two days from now. But luckily, I actually do have some time to record at least another episode of this. So I, I'm i never going to upload a True Survivor Series video in the same day because I want to stretch it out. So y'all have something to watch the next day. So anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Uh, if you want to try out the new uh, survival series, just go back to my settings part of this uh, video. Set your settings to everything I said and see how long you last. <laughs> uh, but that's going to be it. See you.